This is a preliminary video for the MPPD project I'm going to be working on. This is a very, very, very rough schematic of it. There's the buck converter, which is just a P channel MOSFET, shaky rectifier, inductor, and two capacitors. That one is probably going to be multiple capacitors because that's going to have to handle a few tens of amperes of ripple. And generally you can't get almost a very big and very expensive um, single capacitors that can handle that. And plus they all have to be PCB mount because one of the things I'm going to be doing is knock on wood making a PCB for this. Then there's a couple of potential converters, or uh, potential dividers because the PIC microcontroller has some um, ADCs that can only handle uh, 0 volts to 5 volts so those will just uh, step it down to somewhere in that 0 volt to 5 volt range because the input of this is going to be up to 50 volts or 60 volts depending on the design and uh, battery is going to be anywhere from uh, 11 volts to 15 volts 11 volts being the worst case uh, discharge scenario 15 volts being during a um, uh, equalization because one of the things I may do is if I can get this thing to uh, into some kind of an equalize if I can f factor in an equalize mode I will do that but I just want to get the initial thing working first then there's a little ACS uh, 713 and I mean little because it's a little tiny SOIC8 uh, surface mount device um, little ACS 713 Hall effect current sensor which allows for um, galvanically isolated current sensing which is important for this because um, one of the no, one of the cri design criteria is that all of the neutrals for the for the neutral for the PV hot, or the neutral for the for the photovoltaic array, the neutral for the batteries, and the neutral for all the various loads, are all uh, common. There's no any kind of current sensor or anything which requires that the neutral go through the controller. So that's why I'm using that. Ordinarily, in this kind of an application, you'd see a sense resistor and some operational amplifiers or specialized. Um, uh, shunt resistor um, management chips but this um, allows me to adjust to have a measure current without doing any of that then there's going to be some um, uh, LM324 based uh, low pass filters to filter out any of the 25,000 cycle per second noise from the uh, buck converter so that the picks only measuring a DC that will also allow the allow me to use um, bigger or higher resistance uh, values in the potential divider so that there's um, lower losses because the um, otherwise the uh, pick uh, ADC on its own would require much uh, lower um, resistance values to uh, reduce or eliminate or because um, otherwise the higher resistance values would introduce error which is of course to be avoided then I've got the pick microcontroller that's probably going to be pick 16F78 or 16F785 because that's what I've got but if it, if I need it I may do a pick 16F88 if uh, the program is too big for later versions of it or some or something similar to the pick 16F88 but that has two separate PWM, out, PWM outputs because one of the things I may do is design one of these that just has two uh, buck converters so that it can handle two separate independent uh, PV arrays and track them independently. Then there's just uh, some idiot lights which I've just got a couple here for represent for representational purposes but ultimately there's probably going to be about seven I think there's going to be um, uh, PV on which says that there's electricity coming in from the PV array there's going to be um, two mode LEDs, one for MPPT, one for float. The float one will just be connected to the dump load because whenever the thing's in float mode, it'll, mode, it'll turn on a auxiliary dump load. Then there's going to be, um, of course, a load disconnect uh, on that tells you that your load, uh, that your um, that the um, output load is um, live. Of course, if that shuts off, it means that they've activated the uh, load disconnect. And uh, three um, battery state LEDs for full, uh, medium, and uh, discharged. 
Then another thing which I may incorporate, and of course as I've stated before, it'll have an MC reload, a low potential disconnect, and a dump plug. And one thing I may do is incorporate into the same device if I can, um, if I get this whole basic initial part of this working, because the initial part of the project is just have a working MPPG charge controller. But if I can get all that stuff to work, I may incorporate an auxiliary inverter. So it's kind of a little one, uh, one and done device where you just mount at the wall, hook it up to a battery bank, uh, hook it up to some PV arrays, hook up some loads, and it's all ready to go as a complete package unit because um, this is a project for a um, electrical engineering and capstone course I'm going to be taking next year, but I want to work on it now because you only have about 10 weeks really to work on it otherwise. And it's going to be just a fairly typical transformer type inverter because a, a conventional potential uh, converter and each bridge type inverter would be somewhat more complicated to implement because you'd need the uh, switch mode supply for the 140 volt DC for the H bridge. You need H bridge drivers and all kinds of really complicated meh that don't really want to work on because again it's supposed to be summer. And uh, but anyways. Uh, so that is most likely, that's going to be just a fairly typical um, uh, transformer type inverter. Which is just a transformer probably an 8 volt, 0 volt, 8 volt, or 9 volt, 0 volt, 9 volt. Depending on what I can get. Probably 9 volt, 0 volt, 9 volt. Of a few hundred volt amperes capacity. A couple of BJTs, because in this application... Because switching speed isn't super critical, because this thing is only going to be operating at about... Um, each one of these is only going to be operating at about 60 cycles per second to 100 cycles per second. Switching speed isn't really super critical. And for switching applications like this, BJTs have lower losses than MOSFETs. Uh, then some buffering, because again, the uh, BJTs would have a few hundred milliampers of um, base drive current. To be able to handle the... 20 amperes or 30 amperes uh, current at a uh, full load. Then some uh, AND gates, a JK flip flop, and a 555 timer. And the basic, uh, at least a uh, time logic diagram, or whatever the proper term for this is called, because I last had that course four years ago, and haven't used this stuff really much since then. But, anyways or a state diagram or whatever. But this is pretty much what this thing is going to, what the um, waveform for this, but it'll look like it'll have the, um, there'll be the uh, signal from the 555, which would be a double the main, at the uh, ultimate output frequency. And the purpose of the uh, JK flip-flop is that that pretty much toggles on every pulse from the 555. And then the AND gates uh, one is connected to the Q output from the uh, flip-flop, the other one's connected to the not Q, as well as uh, each one is going to have a um, input from the uh, 555 clock. And so pretty much each one will alternately, each each um, end gate will uh, output a um, high alternately on each clock pulse. And then what this will ultimately lead to is this kind of a standard modified square wave type waveform from the output of the transformer. Now I may, instead of all this, if I can get a um, driver chip, because there are driver chips that do all this stuff and they're commonly found in the uh, um, potential converter and H-bridge type inverters, but those are designed to operate at tens of thousands of cycles per second, not dozens of cycles per second. But if I can find one that will do all that and it's a decent price, it's cheaper than having a 555 and a couple of the CMOS uh, logic chips, because again, this would all be working from 12 volts, so I'd have to use CMOS, couldn't use uh, TTL. But if I can find one that that'll, that will work stably at those low frequencies, I'll use that instead of all this. But that's pretty much the basic project. And now for the parts. <laughs>